is this piece called? Lego, if you see this, can you tell me what this thing's called? Today, I'd like to share with you a very simple mission, maybe to do at the end. It's the flow mission. Maybe you do it in the middle if you have a couple seconds to spare. It takes like 10 seconds. These are the parts. We need uh, one 13 beam, two 15 beams, two 3 by 5 L beams, two 7 beams, two 7 by 3 45 angle beams, two of these weird connector thingies, and two of these weird connector thingies. I have no idea what these are called. My students called them llamas because they kind of look like a llama. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to build the uh, uh, quick mount uh, plate. So I'm gonna take the four blue pegs that I had out there that I forgot to mention in the parts listing. And I'm gonna stick two of these uh, through here, just like this two of these through here, just like this. And then I'm gonna sandwich them with the 14 or 15 beams, leaving uh, one hole out on each side. Just like this. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, install the uh, weird parallel peg things underneath this thing. So this is going to be the top, this is going to be the bottom underneath this thing. So I'm going to just put these just like this. I put them so the pegs go inside where the uh, angle pieces meet, uh, just like that. So again, this is going to be the top, this is going to be the bottom. And now I'm going to put four black pegs in the holes that uh, the 90 or the parallel uh, weird connector things go. All right, just like that. I'm gonna set this aside for just a second and I'm going to uh, pick up the uh, number uh, 13 uh, beam and I'm going to stick some llamas in one in the end just like this, one in the end just like this. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two, the two uh, seven by three uh, 45 angle pieces and I'm going to stick them in the last hole areas on each side, pointing out like, like this. Um, this is what's gonna actually hit the flow uh, levers on the pumps. Um, and then I'm going to take two of the blue axle pegs and stick them in the ends of the 45 angle pieces like that. Two black uh, pegs and stick them in like this. So we should have this right now. And finally, I'm going to take the number seven axles and I'm just going to put them, uh, number seven beams, I'm sorry. These are not axles, these are beams. And stick them on the ends just like this. So we have something that's shaped like this. And what's gonna happen is the levers are going to be pushed down by the force of this running into it. Um, and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two pieces together this is going to just connect to the mounting plate just like that. Uh, it's not exactly perfect because these pegs, if you wanna put a beam there and cover the pegs up, be my guest, but you don't have to. You can modify this however you need to. Let's go to the FLL board and I will show you how it works. Okay, so we're on the first LEGO League mat and um, the attachment's just gonna slide over those axles just like that, it's on and ready to go. Okay, so what happens is the robot drives forward towards the pumps and it just runs in, pushes it against the wall, in effect pushing down the levers and releasing the water in the back. 
that's it. It's a really simple mission. It takes like eight seconds to drive out, do the mission, drive back to base. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, subscribe for more ideas on 2017 Hydrodynamic and future FLL games coming your way.